Hey everybody, it's Kelly. I wanted to share something with you today that greatly changed my life over the last week. Something my brother actually introduced me to. It's called matcha green tea. Um, I'm getting my uh, tea products from Tivana. Uh, I, they have amazing product, amazing stuff. So uh, the, the matcha green tea, it comes in a, a powder, okay? It's a, a green powder. And the way that they grow these tea leaves, um, they take a lot of care in it. Um, they're grown and when they get to a certain point of maturity, they shade them and then they continue to grow. And what that does is makes the plant produce an extreme amount of chlorophyll, which we all know is very good for us. So that's why I decided to get on this train because I'm always looking for energy and an edge. And I know I found it with this stuff. It's very cool. Okay, so what you do is you take a teaspoon of your matcha powder. And they have special matcha bowls and stuff, but really any bowl will do for mixing. I just stick my teaspoon in there. Um, this is a little teapot. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, what you do is you open it and, and you place inside your teas. Now, when I ordered this, they sent me a sample. This is not the sample size. I went and bought some of Blueberry Bliss and Pineapple Kona Pop. So, oh my God, you open it, it smells so good. So you put, I put like, you know, a couple spoons of it in here. And then what got me started on this whole crazy tea thing is um, everybody goes to Starbucks. I don't like coffee. I saw Tivana, I decided to try it. And the Blackberry Mojito Lemonade Tivana tea drink, um, I was trying to kind of, copy that a little bit, but I'm not adding lemonade. So what I did is I got another tea called Jade Citrus Mint to get the citrus and the mint in there. And then I'll add like a fourth of what I added of the other flavors of that in there and to let it soak and then you just fill it up, okay? Then I've got my matcha powder and I'm gonna add some water into the matcha and get a whisk, a little bamboo whisk comes in this thing, a storage container. And you're just gonna, you know, kind of mash the powder down, trying to get it a little bit pasty right now. And you can either do this with just water or you can even actually pour some of the tea that you're brewing into it, which is what I'm gonna do once I get most of the, the green tea powder dissolved. I'll pick it up here and see if I can lean it forward. You can see that it's, it's you know, pretty well dissolved. And then what I'm gonna do, this thing is so neat, okay? Pick it up, and if I just touch the bottom, it's gonna let a little bit of that tea out, okay? And I'm gonna place it back on its holder. And I'm going to go in up. The other videos I've watched say that when you get to this stage with your tea, water. You want to start um, frothing it, okay? And you do it in a zigzag motion. It says you do not want to stir, stir this tea in circular motions, okay? So I'm just zigzagging it, trying to bring it up to a froth. And then you get a really nice froth there, okay? And then what I do, these tumblers rock. They are from Starbucks. Big, huge tumblers. You can fill them with ice. They, you know, works, it works as a shaker too, which I'll show you in a minute. But then I take my tumbler full of ice and I'm going to pour my matcha over it. Take some of these little bubbles out of the bowl and help it into the glass. I like to get every drop. It's pretty good stuff. Stick a little bit more hot tea into this thing. Just swish it around so that I make sure that I'm getting as much of that matcha that I use out of it as possible. Stick it on here. Okay, now this is what is so cool about this contraption. Okay, you stick it on top of the glass and the beverage comes out. Okay, I always lift it up. I like to, and I had a little bit of spill on the bottom there, that'll happen, but it's no big deal. You just clean it up. So I, I add some tea, but I like to dilute, dilute the tea because it's pretty strong when you first make it. So I'll finish it off with water to the top. 
And then I like to sweeten it a little bit, and I like to use um, organic stevia extract. Much better for you than sugar and any sort of artificial flavor. And I might put like, you know, seven, eight drops or so. Seven's a lucky number, so we'll just go with seven. We'll say I did seven. And then you're going to put the lid on. Make sure it's on even because I've done this a couple times where it's on crooked and then you shake the tea out the side. Then just cover your the, the straw hole with your finger and you have a shake. special little thing that prevents it from coming up through the cup so you won't ever lose it. Put the lid back on. And you have a delicious, healthy drink. Like, really delicious. Oh my god. It's so refreshing. So good for you. This matcha will give you energy for days. I just, it's, it's awesome. And I usually, I only stick to about a one teaspoon drink uh, of this a day. I won't do uh, two teaspoons unless I'm like up early and I need like an extra little kick because it, it carries me a long time. So that's it. That's my little matcha blend that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, love you guys. Peace, love, and as always in this household music. Mwah! Love you. Bye.